The first thing you have to understand with crease play is where to set up. You always want to establish position opposite and away from the ball. So the ball is top left, I want to be low and on the right pipe. As the ball moves around the horn, I want to change my position to, to, to accommodate that spot. If the ball goes to the back left, now I'm high and on the right pipe. This accomplishes two things. Number one, it creates more space for the man with the ball to dodge. The second thing it does is it makes the initial slide longer. If you don't get the feed after the initial dodge, don't give up on your cut. What you want to do is plant and recut and find a lane to wherever the pass goes. So in this case, when Robbie dodges, if he doesn't feed to me, when he throws down to Max, I'm going to plant and then cut to Max. The last thing that following the slide accomplishes is it lengthens the second slide. And this enables the ball carrier to throw a skip pass. When he dodges, he wants to look through the middle in order to see his open teammate on the back side. So here, Robbie dodges, Ronnie slides, I follow, and then there's the skip pass. Another thing you can do on the crease is eliminate the slide by using one of two techniques. Both of these techniques are stretching the rules a little bit, so you have to be subtle in order so the referees don't see it. If Ronnie's in correct position between me and the ball, I want to take my bottom arm and basically clamp it around his stick, thus disabling him from being able to slide. I can also release my butt end and just grab the head of his stick like this. If Ronnie's in poor position and is behind me, all I want to do is box him out, just like in basketball, and shield him from getting to the ball. In this case, I just want to keep my body between him and the ball carrier.